my people good evening welcome back we are here again with another update yes we are here i will urge you to please do subscribe like and share our videos <clears throat> yeah um there's a bishop that is actually angry what is actually going on why are they buying more time why can't they scratch the case can they just start up the case and then let's know if these things will finish up before may 29th <laughs> I laugh in Swahili. Honestly speaking, these people have not even understand Fulani. And they are, they are, oh my God, they have God. They have God. Demonic God. That's what they got. All right. First to Kiyama or FFK, they are busy fighting like Agboro in the market. Anybody that say anything, they will bite the person without even reasoning. Without making a point, they are barking like dogs. All right, <laughs> this bishop, you need to countries like Kenya, where we top them the judiciary, they don't swear in a president, they swift into action, they handle all the cases before the swearing in date. So, why are we delaying in Nigeria? Are we delaying because we want to collect the allowances? Are we delaying because corruption has eaten everything? There is nothing difficult about this case. In less than 30 days, we can dispense of every case. Election will finish in February. Swearing in will be the end of May. And yet, the cases have not been scratched. What a nation. So for me, what is not in the Nigerian constitution is not in the Nigerian constitution. I know Nigeria is a wonderful country. The doctrine of necessity, they call it. How necessary is that doctrine of necessity? You see, this man is here boiling. But to Fulani and the uh, UK, the United Kingdom, it is a done deal. They have already done the rigging. There's no need of even going to court. That is their own. So the more you are boiling, the more you are protesting, they are laughing at you. They will use every tactics to make sure that this case will go down. That it will just die down a natural death. They are frustrating every plan. They are frustrating everyone. Now, I want to link you to the video of Lamido Sanisu, what he, he's saying about the election. <laughs> hey, you are here talking. They are saying another thing entirely because they have won. Again, Fulani is on seat. So let's hear him out. Uh, this is the only country I know where we only know when we have elected a president if he knows what he's doing, if um, he understands what the job is. Uh, what his plans are, what his vision is. We, you know, you can actually get into uh, the presidency without Nigerians knowing exactly whether you have the capacity to do the job or whether you have the vision to do the job. And I think beyond um, talking about the kind of leader we want and the kind of policies that we want, we need to now begin, and also beyond looking at the electoral process and the voting process, which is very flawed, but which can be improved upon with the Electoral Act, we need to expand that into the process through which um, parties bring up candidates and uh, elections happen. And that the important thing is there must be an improvement in the transparency around, and the candidates must be compelled to face the country and discuss their issues and their vision. Um, and when we begin to do that, the parties themselves will be forced to give us candidates that can do the work. And we as Nigerians will at least have the uh, good fortune of knowing that we knew what we were voting for when we voted for it. Um, so these are elements, these are aspects of our democracy that I think need to be looked at, which we have not looked at um, sufficiently. Uh, I'm sure the topic today will talk about uh, the decades of, of missteps we have made on the economy. Uh, the way we have reversed institutional growth and institutional independence and development where we now have weak institutions um, that have been totally politicized and those who are unelected um, officers who are supposed to be the safeguard for our economy for our polity for our uh, society have become politicized and there is now little difference between those who are elected and those who are unelected everything is political uh, people have questions about uh, regulations, they have uh, questions about policing, they have questions about the judiciary, 
they have questions about the electoral umpire. And I think we need to uh, begin to, we had made some progress um, many years back, which, have not, which has not been reversed, but we need to go back to rebuilding institutions and um, asserting their independence and ensuring that they protect uh, the democracy and the, uh, and the economy that we all live in. Uh, I would like to um, wish each and every one of you um, a very uh, happy um, uh, a day, and I wish um, each one happy 62nd um, uh, birthday. I'm uh, heading there in a few months, uh, inshallah, and uh, I'll be joining you. So, uh, oh, thank, thank goodness it's the same year, so you can't uh, claim you're a year older than me. Um, I would like to, again, um, thank you each for your friendship thank you for being who you are I encourage you to continue being who you are uh to continue standing up uh, for those values that you've always had and um to continue to have hope in this country because um if we lose hope then the next generation is finished um, all of us have been beneficiaries of the work that was done by those you see somebody that call himself a religious leader anemia hmm? In the irregularities, of course, is their business. They know how to do it. It does not concern them when he sees nothing wrong with that. So he has moved on. Everything is balanced. Power is back to full any hand. Because the moment power is in uh, APC, it's, it, it's their own. They will do everything to grab it. They say it's a game of number. It's not about tribe. It's not about your feelings. It's about the multitude of emptiness. In the north they say it's about that number okay that's how they have turned it to be and i don't know how we got to this point and how we will leave this point where we are right now the problem we're having is the elders yes to me <laughs> to me p2b was actually a distraction to almost the biafra we almost got yes if not for this time they bought now through him they bought another four years they signed it in the moment you went to the poll they ha you already bought time so that was why we said there shouldn't have been election in the first place because we know it will be all about rigging forgery and thuggery it has happened severally it can't stop just now that's why we foresee what will happen and say no there's no need of putting yourself through that there is no need of going under the sun. There is no need even to go to judiciary. Because what you will even hear in judiciary will break your heart. You will find out how rotten Nigeria is. How they will be able to buy the lawyers and they will say anything that comes out of their mouth.